Hey guys, I'm Mikey back here for another video. Guys, today we'll be looking at my week 12 power rankings for the NFL. Now, if you have not checked out my other NFL content, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to Fantasy Truck Stop. That's where I upload a lot of other football content, but I wanted to see how you guys thought about it over here. So let's go ahead and get started with number 10. Number 10 is a interesting team because of course it is going to go ahead and be none other than the LA Rams. And I will say the LA Rams are... One of those teams were on paper, they're one of the best teams possible. And they now have Odell Beckham. They did lose Robert Woods for the season, but they already have Cooper Cup, who's absolutely amazing. They have a solid tight end in Tyler Higby, and then they have some really good running backs. Now, of course, with Stafford being the new addition quarterback on the offseason, you look at that team with that defense, and you're like, this team should be undefeated. Nobody can beat this team. Well, what we saw was the Titans handled business against the Rams. And then following that, the 49ers handed the business versus the Rams. So that is, of course, two L's, a bye week. And now they play the Green Bay Packers, who is also on this list. So I got to put them at number 10. I know they have a good record. And I know, you know, I try my best when I do my power rankings. We're not basing this on your actual record. We're basing this on how good of a team you truly are. And I still will say one thing. I have no idea what's going on with them because they got Sean McVay. They got an amazing coach. They just simply can't figure it out. I still think they're a top 10 team but I got to put him in number 10 for that reason. All right, so number nine, we have the Dallas Cowboys. Now, last yesterday, literally, they lost to the Las Vegas Raiders. And I will say one thing. If you're a Cowboys fan, you're probably frustrated too. They come back in this game. They're looking promising. Then on in overtime, on third and 18, they're... Uh, I think it was a cornerback, runs straight into the receiver, gets a P.I. call, and bam, they get a first down. Raiders win the game. That was his fourth P.I. of the game. Like, it's just mistakes like that where it's like the Cowboys, I feel like they're an amazing team offensively. They could do anything. And obviously yesterday they were without Molly Cooper, who was sick. They also were without CeeDee Lamb. So it was kind of a mismatch of, you know, like, uh, Cedric Wilson, and then you also have, you know, what's the guy's name? Uh, Gallup. So it was a kind of a mismatch of everything. They still almost won the game, but I got him to put number nine here because I just feel like they're a team that could take that next step. You just can't make stupid mistakes like that in that game, especially against a good team like the Raiders. It just does not do wonders to go ahead and make even the simplest mistakes. With that being said, though, number eight is going to go ahead and come in with the Buffalo Bills. They handled their business yesterday versus the New Orleans Saints. Now, it wasn't like it was much of a big deal as, again, they just beat Trevor Simeon. But listen, at the end of the day, they handled their business. They lost to Jacksonville, which was an absolute disgusting loss. Almost lost to Miami as it was 3-3 three three the whole entire game. Turned it up in the fourth quarter. Buffalo fans, please calm down. Uh, with that being said, though... I said this in my video on Fantasy Truck Stop. They're fine. I'm not concerned about them. I'm not scared about how they're playing. I think they're going to be perfectly fine throughout the rest of the season. They're going to make the playoffs, make a very long run in the playoffs. The only reason they're number eight here is because for some reason, they're messing themselves up. That's all I got to say. But at the end of the day, I think once we get to the playoffs, they have a really amazing coaching. They staff, they, they'll go far. Josh Allen is a solid quarterback. All right, so number seven, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. After going ahead and taking the L to the Washington football team, they went ahead and beat the Giants. So I got to say, solid out to them for that. Tom Brady looking freaking massively amazing as he did have like an 11 or 12-yard rush where he like just did it all himself. Again, like I said, Brady the GOAT, obviously. Number seven for that reason. But I will say number six on my list here is going to go ahead and be the Tennessee Titans, which I, I, I don't know what to think of this team. I really don't know what to think of this team. I was selling this team so highly. They're the best team in the league. Derrick Henry goes down. They still blow out the Rams. They still win games without Derrick Henry. And then they lose. And you got to think, guys, they have three losses on the season. Let me tell you who the three losses are. Number one is going to go ahead and be the New York Jets. They lost to the Cardinals. Cardinals will make sense. Jets, what are you losing to the Jets for? Cincinnati fans, chill. Number three, they lost to the Houston Texans. It's, it's a mismatch, man. They are really a weird team. 
At the same time, I'm going to throw that Jets loss up to the beginning of the season. But that Texans loss, you got to take care of business against the Texans. And I will still say to this day, I am a believer that Der they can win this without Derrick Henry. I believe they can still win without him. I think they're fine without him. Julio Jones now is on IR, obviously. So they have no Julio. They have AJ Brown and pretty much nobody else for Ryan Tannehill. Uh, with that being said, though, it's just... Oh, man, I wouldn't put them higher, but after that Texans, if they would have beat the Texans and handled business against the Texans, we'd be talking about top three right now. But when you lose to the Texans, and I'm not saying the Texans are, actually, no, the Texans are one of the worst teams in the NFL. Uh, Tyrod Taylor, I love the guy, but, man, he outplayed him. Let's get it, boys. Number five, Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, you know, there was a long point of, a long area of time where I didn't have the Chiefs in my top 10 power rankings. And you know why? Because simply, they want the team. They want the Chiefs like they were before, right? They lose to the Ravens in a heartbreaking fashion when they're caught Edwards Alaire, fumbles the football. And then after that, it just spew a couple games where they were just like falling apart. But then they got back. They came back. They beat the Packers. Then they beat the Cowboys. And now they're back in the good graces of the top 10 tier list. And the Kansas City Chiefs right now, one of the favorites teams to win the Super Bowl this year. So we are back to saying KC all day, every day. With that being said, though, number five for that reason. Number four, New England Patriots. Let me take you back to a point in time where this team was three and four, looking absolutely like they fell off, looking from the outside in. And now look at them now. Seven and four. So I think seven and seven and four, I believe. Go ahead and check, double check that for you guys right there. Uh yeah, seven and four. And looking absolutely mighty. I mean, we're now at a point where people are saying, you know, like this team could easily win the Super Bowl. And I'll be honest, I mean, they're doing it with Mac Jones, a rookie quarterback. They obviously found a replacement for Tom Brady eventually, wasn't Cam Newton. And then defensively, they're just locking people up. Like, it's amazing how, like, you look at their squad. Again, they spent a lot of money this offseason. That's something that, you know, you just usually don't see the New England Patriots doing. They spent a lot of money in this offseason, really built this roster around Mac Jones. And now, oh, sorry, not Mac Jones, around Cam Newton. And now Mac Jones is taking over and he's just getting the job done. When the literally the best rookie quarterback right now, Mac Jones. And of course, he's going for New England Patriots. And of course, Patriots are thriving. Number three. Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, you know, I am a Ravens fan. I'll admit it. And to be honest, we almost lost to Chicago with our backup quarterback. Yeah, we didn't have Lamar Jackson. We had my man Huntley. My man Huntley was hunting in that game. Absolutely love the man. And yeah, we went ahead and got the W. In the end of the day, we got it done, even with the fact that we literally allowed them to score a touchdown with like a minute to go. We found a way to get the ball back, go score a touchdown ourselves, and win this ball game. I will say overall wise, we the Ravens defense give up we give up, I think it's the third. No, we get the most big plays of any defense in the NFL. We give up a crap ton of yards. We actually shut down the run pretty well. But we give up a crap ton of yards. And you know what the funny thing is? We give up all those big plays, but we don't also give up all those touchdowns. We hold a lot of teams to field goals. And I will say that's a big W for Baltimore. We might give up a big play, but we'll hold a team to a field goal. And I will say when Lamar comes back from his sickness, which he will this week, we play the Cleveland Browns this weekend on Sunday Night Football. I have a lot of confidence that we're going to be a... We're going to beat the Brownies and we're going to continue progressing. And again... Listen, we could have been two and nine or two and seven, or whatever, three and seven, but you know what? We're not. That's all that matters. Six, 17 players on IR. 17 players on IR. We have literally gotten rid of all of our running backs because of injury. We are still finding a way to win. And last week, we didn't have Marquise Brown. We still won. All right, number two Green Bay Packers. Aaron's back. Devontae's back. Devontae Adams last week having a 120-yard game, two touchdowns. That is back, man. We got Mr. Devontae Adams back in the show, and he is playing lights-out football. Shout-out to Devontae Adams for that. 
And the Packers are looking good. Their defense is looking solid. Their offense is looking very uh, massive. And I will say again, you know, now they have the Rams this week, the number 10 team on this list. They just got to take care of the business, get the get business done, and they should be a solid team uh, moving forward and definitely a Super Bowl favorite at this moment in time. But number one is a team that didn't have their starting quarterback for the last four weeks, Kyler Murray and the Cardinals. So Kyler Murray has been out the last four weeks and has been Colt McCoy getting the job done. They have also had no Devon, uh, DeAndre Hopkins, and they still found a way to go. I think right now they're 3-1 and one without Kyler Murray this year. Yeah. They get the job done still without having their actual star quarterback in the game. Shout out to them. They are absolutely amazing on defense, absolutely amazing on offense. And they're firing all cylinders right now. And I'll say going into the season, I really did not project that they were going to be as good as they are. And I will say I'm wrong. I was wrong about them. I really thought they were going to be a worse team than they were. And they're absolutely destroying every single person they play against. So shout out to the Arizona Cardinals. Shout out to you for hitting that subscribe button and like button on this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.